Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, episode 3. Now, we are we are nearly halfway through, the, well, we are halfway through the, the season 1 at the moment. I uh, have no idea what to expect, I haven't seen any playthroughs of this, as I've been saying. There has been little to no, well, there has been a lot of progress through the game, um... There is a lot of tension in the group now, from what I, from what I've seen. Um, Larry is dead for people who aren't keeping up with this or haven't seen the let's plays that I've done. There will be it, this will be in a playlist, so you'll be able to see all the stuff there. You'll be able to uh, notice everything, and everything will be explained. Now let's get into the Walking Dead episode three. Now. What have you got in store for me, game? I'm really enjoying this series, actually. It's one of Previously those... Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Why isn't that something? Sorry about that. Had a little bit of a camera issue. But we are back. Telltale Games presents... Association with Skyborne, Skybound Entertainment, The Walking Dead. Such an interesting concept, though. I haven't really been seeing the TV series, though. Ooh, here we are. Still in Macon? Long road ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Yeah, we, we, yeah Kenny's right. Can actually get in there, get some tools. Really helpful. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp, considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Yeah, I agree with Kenny. This place is done. What have we seen? We probably we've been here a long time. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> he has been shot, and he's still going around. Oh shit! You okay? The ladders come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Okay. So, let's have a look. Huh. What do you mean, her? They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess. Okay. Oh, push the wrong button. Oh, 
I start working. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Okay. So. Hey, there we go. Oh, no. Looks like it still works. Can use that. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now that we've done that. Yeah, pull the uh, car closer. The girl still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Hopefully, we're still talking. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. Yep. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Ooh. Nope. Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. Who? Oh, God. Really? What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Uh, it's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Ooh. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean. We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. He's got a point. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I want to do that for me or to help me, but we need uh, we need all the things we can. Okay. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Yep, we'll do. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here, and then we gotta go. Medicine box. Yep. That's it. She's gone. There's not much time now. Nope. 
Nope. Oh dear. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kenny. Kenny. Help! Yeah, there we go. Now, let's fucking get out. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Come on, let me do it. Ooh, sorry about the clicking, guys. Yeah, there we go. Lee, get out of there. They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Oh, what's what's wrong with Kenny? Jeez. I guess he's still pretty annoyed at us about the whole thing. Ooh, hello. Looks like we've been attacked recently. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Oh, that's cool. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. Yeah. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes uh, to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it. It's to true, we have to on. leave. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable in We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to uh... take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? Mm. You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. It was a mistake. We got our supplies, but we should have tried to save her or put her out of her misery. Well, you had Kenny with you, so some options were off the table. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. 
Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. He's got a good point. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Yeah. Oh, God, Kenny. Uh, oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. I wonder and where you're stealing our supplies. Got a minute. Yes. Let's go back and talk with Lily. Let's see if we can actually get a conversation with her. And Lily's door. Open Lily's door so we can have a conversation with her. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Uh. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Uh, you haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma, and you're not taking care of yourself. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? We need I found this first. tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Mm. It's just a few things. It's not a big deal. Bullshit, it's not. You know it is, and I'd really appreciate the help. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? <laughs> You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. <laughs> That's Robin. I know who it is. Uh. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Go on, Doc. Oops, I that was my... That was my finger. I should not click my, uh... Click my knuckles. Alright, let's go talk to Clem. Clementine! There we go. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What you doing? What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Ooh. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Uh. 
You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. <laughs> did you do that? Yes. <laughs> do you like it here? Oh, People Clem. Like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's go. So a word with Kenny. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. Mm. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Uh. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. Hmm. I forgot, though. Uh. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what, then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Cool. Uh, yeah. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Yeah, this is true. Very true. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Cool. Talk to them. Talk to you. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Hmm, he's good. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Yeah. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. That's good. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. <laughs> it's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... Oh, God, you're digging a hole, man. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Okay. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. Oh, that's good. I don't believe it when I see it. That's... Uh... Aha! Look at the broken glass. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Anything... Anything at all. Anything on the... Okay. Let's put the broken glass. It actually fits. Yeah, it does fit. Hmm. Hmm, no. There's something drawn there. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. 
Maybe. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Oh, Doc. Couldn't be Clem. Surely it's not Clem. Let's go on word with Clem. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. <laughs> well, I we found, found something. Out. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Why are you giving Duck so much trouble? Cool. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. What do you mean by that? More chalk. This is weird. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. I will not go out there just yet. I'm going to go and talk... Talk to Carly. Because she said she wanted to speak to us. What is it you want? Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What's on your what mind, Carly? What I wanted Carly? to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. No. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. Hmm. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. Hmm. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Yeah. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Eh. Yeah. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Alright. Alright. Oh. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh... You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now, it doesn't seem like one of them. Yeah, but true. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Mm. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and <laughs> hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Yeah, true. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hmm, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching uh, the beginning of episode 3. Now, uh, in the next one, we're going to have a word with everybody, just seeing who we, telling people who we are, um, and yeah, that's going to be an awkward conversation with people. Not exactly sure who I'm going to tell, but I am going to be recording another batch of these videos. Um, yeah, so, 
stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and we will be we'll be sorting out uh, all the rest of the stuff that we need to. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.